Hello, my name is Anna, and welcome to a, hopefully, my first series on YouTube, Good Morning Anna. The series I wanted to do for quite a while, where I talk for about like 30 minutes to an hour, and work on my voice training. Um, I am a trans woman, I am male to female, I have not been on hormones. And I'm working towards that, and, um, I don't know, really, I'm just trying to, just want to try something unique for what I usually do. Um, I want to talk about different things, uh, about my day, interesting facts, and s more stuff like that. I'm hoping for this to be a, at least fairly unedited series, so I can keep the most keep the most in my voice the only thing I have on is a is a denoiser because my room can get really noisy as uh everything around me is really squeaky such as my chair and my desk it's not fun uh they're not the best <laughs> they're old um I also have a gate on it to avoid you hearing everything as much. I had to show off my fan. It's going to get really hot in here really fast. I'm hoping this audio is not getting choppy. In fact, I might turn off the gate. Because this is a thing. Huh. Ah, da, da, da. Testing it. Sorry. You all might also start hearing me uh, click around because I'm assuming... My gate doesn't really do much with clicking. As this series, hopefully series continues, I can hopefully get maybe some more people in on it. Some people to talk to, so it's not just a one-woman show. And I really hope you enjoy this. Without further ado, welcome to Good Morning Anna, episode one. I want to start this off by talking about what has been going on today for me. Uh, today I have went to see one of my partners who is about three minutes away. She's amazing. I genuinely enjoy being around her. She makes me really freaking happy. Um, I got some boxes moved over because um, I'm secretly moving out of the house I currently live in. And... Thankfully, I don't have work. I work a night shift job, which is really fun. I work from usually 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. or 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. The only thing extra I get is a dollar more than uh, most people do. Um, it's not the best, but it has to suffice for now. I uh, just hung out with my girlfriend for a bit, though, and we didn't really do much. We... I got to talk to some of my other partners while I was there as well. Talk about life stuff as per usual. I got to talk to her birds. I freaking love her, her birds. Um, if I remember correctly, it's a cockatiel, the the smaller version of the of the birds, the yellow and gray. Um, his name's Gavin. He's he's an asshole <laughs> to say it. Frank, quite frankly, he's an asshole. <laughs> He's a very angry man all the time. You can barely ever give him pets. He started warm up to me. I can't pet him still. And then Ritz and Sky, which are these really pretty birds. I don't fully remember what they're called at the moment. Um, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember the breeds. But Ritz and Sky are some pretty blue birds. They just hang out in their cage. They don't talk. They don't mess around with people at all. They're afraid of people more than anything else. Um, been working on doing a lot of cooking lately. That's been really fun. I've recently learned that Spam is really good to cook. It has a different texture and consistency. So I decided to start doing that a bit. Um, one of my favorite things to make currently is a, is a, um, cooked broccoli with, in a pan of olive oil with, uh, olive oil with minced garlic. Um, a little bit of butter as well. Once the oil all evaporates and everything, with the broccoli and steaming them in a different separate pan, I put spam in and cook it with butter. 
Once the spam is cooked, I will scrape it in as well as the grease, and then I'll throw some onions in and let those cook for a bit as well. It ends up making a really, really good uh, tasting meal. I've been doing that a lot lately. I've also made a really, I think, it'd be, I think it'd just be called a burrito. Um, and that consists of me pouring a tortilla into a buttered pan at a low heat, putting uh, two to four slices of pepper jack cheese on it, letting that melt onto it while I cook pepperoni slices and spam with some minced garlic. While the cheese is melting, I'll put some uh, chili pepper onto the cheese and just let it all simmer and let the outside of that uh, burrito cook. After that, I will scrape the uh, spam and pepperoni onto the burrito and then start and then cook a fried egg on top of it with the, the basic salt and pepper. I'm afraid of, uh, of messing something up when I'm cooking. I want to try some more spices out and actual spices, not just like Cuban, but actually spicy foods because I genuinely enjoy them. But after that, you, I just take it off the burner and wrap it up and eat it. And it is genuinely the best meal I've ever made. It sounds stupid, but it's 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 a good it's a good meal. I really like it. I would definitely want to have it again. Um, with current media, I've been don't really keep up much with modern and up to date media. Um, I think the only thing I've really seen is the uh, is the Starfield guy who's getting angry about pronouns in games. So then it takes about three seconds to look through. You pick it and you're done. There's nothing really unique about that. Also, sorry, you might be able to hear the um, the dog in the background. He likes to live in my room. Um, yeah, the Starfield guy is interesting. I, it's such a simple thing to just not care about, though. It's just something you pick out on the front screen, and then you just don't mess with it again. It's I think it's pretty simple. I don't really see what there's an actual issue of, especially if you're seeing it once and never again. I don't know why there's an issue. Up oh, and there the dog goes again. I don't know what the dog is doing because no one is up currently at this time. It is pretty early in the morning. I'm doing this technically a day after, but I, but I wanted to start it now because if I don't start it now, I won't ever start it. I've never been good with sticking with projects. I hope this is a project I can keep going without keep continuing that issue. Um, I was partially inspired by a uh, distractible though. I'm just one. I'm just one person. I want to start like a, I guess a podcast slash talk show type of thing for a while, but I've never really had the energy or motivation to do it. So I decided to just put my foot down, and say, I'm gonna do it right now. And I don't know why I just had to do it while I'm kind of sick at the moment. It's I have a stuffy nose and my throat actually hurts more than anything else, which makes it really fun to talk. I'm also testing out how much FL Studio really records because uh, I don't I don't think I've ever recorded for this long on FL Studio. Um, oh yeah, and if you're new here, I, I make music. I am a musician. I've made, uh, I've produced several different genres, gotten several different labels. I'm working on a, I'm just working on more self-releases now. I've done, I feel like I've done a good amount with, uh, record releases. I've been on a uh, future house cloud, outer tone, monster wolf, and a couple other smaller ones that I'm really proud of. Uh, with my highest stream the uh, track getting over 10k streams on SoundCloud and I think around 5k on Spotify altogether. It's something I'm very proud of. Music is my passion. I've been doing it for about uh, four years now. I work in sound design and mixing and mastering and I've recently started opening up commissions for uh, lo-fi tracks for 
um, for streamers and YouTubers at decently cheap prices. I'm, I'd like to say $20 for like the initial thing and then $3 for an extra minute because it's about 15%. I think it's worth the price, honestly. I might be underselling myself though because I know a lot of people I know at the very least undersell themselves and then I yell at them for underselling themselves. I feel bad about that. Um, going back to the life update stuff and going to my senior fielder's house, um, I dropped off my second box of more sentimentals. So that's really interesting for me. I dropped off my, uh, my small vinyl collection. I have a small vinyl collection. Uh, do I still have the list real quick? Um, let me check real quick. Do -do -do -do. I'm really hoping that this will help my voice training. I really am, because that's more of... That is genuinely something I want to work on. Okay, I, I pulled it up. So here's my vinyl collection. I have The Deer Hunter, Act 4 and Act 5 on vinyl. Very gorgeous vinyls. I fucking love that band. That band is so good. If you haven't heard of them, I definitely recommend listening to them. Um, Area 21, 21. That is Martin Garrix's uh, second alias. I feel bad. I don't remember the other person's name just because Martin Garrix is so high in the media. I can easily remember his name. Glass Animals Dreamland. I have been a fan for glass with of Glass Animals for a long time. I never thought I'd be getting into pop music, but the Glass Animals has really shown me something else with their concept albums. With um, what's that one called? Uh, uh, I, I don't remember actually. <laughs> I feel bad. I like the their stuff a lot. I'll keep moving on though. Uh, Daft Punk, Tron Legacy original soundtrack. That is a gorgeous set of vinyls, and I'm so happy that I get to own them. I own uh, Hi, This Is Flume and Palaces by Flume. Uh, Hi, This Is Flume was my first ever vinyl, and it is, my God, one of the most gorgeous vinyls I've ever owned. I also own Spook by Flume. That is by far the vinyl that costs the most with the least amount on it. It is a $20 vinyl that has a single song on it that you can easily find on YouTube. But I liked the song so much that I wanted it. The design is very pretty. Maybe I'll may I'll show that on my Twitter at some point. I don't know. Um, I own Florence Plus the Machines Dance Fever. I not the smartest play on my end. I decided to say I want to get into an artist. I decided to pick Florence Plus the Machines. And that's the one I started with. It was Dance Fever. It was like, I I'm going to buy this vinyl and listen to them. I am thankful that they ended up being a really, really good band. Or, I guess, musician. I don't know if they're considered a band or not. Post Malone Hollywood Bleeding. I am not a Post Malone fan, but yeah, this was a good one. I like this. It's a, I, I like Hollywood Bleeding a lot. I like the switch up between the really more emotional section and then going straight to a more darker, rhythmic entry. I thought that was really interesting. I have The Weekend of the Highlights, which is by far my most expensive vinyl, costing me $80. I don't listen to The Weekend that often. <laughs> I don't listen to it enough for me to justify the purchase. Um, uh, Porter Robinson Nurture, that's another really good one. And Porter Robinson is by far my favorite artist who's helped me through a lot of stuff in my life. With his song... Um, Unfold being my favorite. I love Unfold, and I would love to see it live if I'm being completely honest. It's one of the few that I can say I want to see live. Um, the last couple of vinyls, I own uh, Mr. Bill's most recent album, which is his VIP and remixes. The Almar intrigued me so much that I was like, I, I think I'm going to go for Mr. Bill vinyl. Mr. Bill is a very talented musician. And I would recommend you listen to it if you really like unique bass works. The last uh, vinyl I own is the Cult of a Lamb soundtrack, costing me about, I think, $35 for 40 tracks. It was so good. It's such a good album for such a good price. Um, 
it took about like six months to arrive due to um due to the beyonce albums being on hold <laughs> or the beyonce not the beyonce it was um adele that's the one that was it was adele adele had um from what I was told, bought out all the like vinyl selling areas, or her label did. That's at least the parts I've heard. I've not done research on it because I don't really care. I got my vinyl. That's all I care about. Um, then my final vinyl that I'm going to be getting in is the Violet Pony Antonite vinyl. I am absolutely stoked to get this one in November. Along with that, I'm also working to actually do a cosplay of Antonym Fluttershy. I have the heart sunglasses. I have the girl hoodie. I just need to work on my makeup skills and uh, get a wig and probably some more uh, early 2000s uh, alt emo core stuff such as like the hand warmers, the dying parts of the hair. I need to get my ears pierced. I, I kind of want to do it just for that. I think that'd be really fun. Uh, in Halloween, I'll probably take some pictures of it because I'm I'm so ready to wear this thing all together. Once I need to get some water real quick. I'm sorry if you can hear too much. <clears throat> there we go. Sorry about that. Um, what else can I talk about right now? Uh, games that I'm playing. Um... I've been playing a lot of Stardew lately. That's a really nice game to play. I've been playing some Apex, though I'm not the best at my uh, accuracy in that one specifically. Um, I also started playing Overwatch, and besides the fact that the company is absolute dog shit, it's... The, the game's good. I, I've been enjoying it. The community has been surprisingly one of the nicest communities I've ever talked to. Um... I started playing it like maybe a couple weeks ago with my girlfriend and her friend and I instantly fell in love with maining Orissa and Lucio so Orissa as my uh my tank Lucio as my healing and I'll either play Ash or Reaper as my DPS and I can get well over like 10k on the double the double capture point rounds it's really good it's so fun i'm so thankful that my girlfriend's playing it with me and that my other partners have also started playing it with me i find it to be so fun um what else can i talk about uh driving not yeah i drive a stick shift so it's really fun the <laughs> The roads where I live get backed up really, uh, really easily. I'm working on trying to avoid every, uh, every highway thing I do because that's fun. I don't, I don't like it. I really don't. Uh, oh, another thing with music is I'm currently working on helping my girlfriend with the soundtrack for her, her Minecraft server. She runs a Minecraft server and currently we're doing a complete overhaul of the parasite mod pack that we used and switching out for the fungus uh mod pack and i get to help make the soundtrack for it i i've started making game music and ambient music and it is genuinely one of the most fun i've had making music in a long time it makes me actually want to make music again um with oh speaking of music actually uh celeste i've been playing a lot of celeste lately i know that's the very ironic like oh you're trans you have to play celeste but it's genuinely a good game that makes me think about how i'm going to play the game i've noticed that i play a lot of indie games and celeste i guess was no exception because i played it and instantly just fell in love with uh the mechanics and the soundtrack lena ray is genuinely a really good musician. Um, I liked the soundtrack. Oh, what's it called? Um, let's see if I can open up Spotify real quick so I can look at it because I have it there. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. It's in my monthly playlist because I work because I like to find new music every month. Uh, that's going to be in the August one. Let's see what's it called. It is confronting myself. That is one of one of, if not my favorite 
tracks within that and within the game. It is such a one I did not expect a such a good boss fight to come from Celeste like this. The first the first time you see uh your evil self Madeline, the anxiety form, was a really intense moment and the fact that you get to go through it again except you actually get to fight it is really cool um i currently am trying to 100 percent the at least the a side i don't know about the b sides yet because the b sides scare me i opened up the b side i was like wow i i don't think i could do this <laughs> I'm currently at the final stage of it, and I'm I'm just trying to get all the strawberries in one go as well, which is not the smartest, but it, I'm not the brightest when it comes to that. I will die 40 times on the stupidest jumps, but then complete a hard section like two minutes without dying. It's funny. <laughs> um, earlier I said that I am not on hormone therapy or HRT, and I actually intend to go on it. Starting within hopefully the next two weeks, I'm going to call the health insurance provider that my family has and finally try to get financial help with this. Um, my family has uh a has military insurance, so I only have less than a year to use it, and I only need it to get the first appointment out of the way since I know that's going to be most expensive. After that, I intend to pay for it all through Planned Parenthood, and I'm hoping it will go well. I really am. I, I've been, I've known this about myself since I've been probably 14. For, since I was like 14, I was like, this feels weird. Actually, and even earlier than that, I would, um, I, I was like, huh, this doesn't feel right. Let me try on this set of clothing, which clothing design does not define your gender but you know clothing does not define your gender but it felt nice um whenever i move i'm gonna be working on learning makeup a lot more and that's so exciting there's so much i'm i want to do with this and I'm sorry if this is boring i i will try to get some more people on next time hopefully with uh with this i'm very new to this I don't intend much editing, as I said. Um, I just want to be very raw and personal and open, so it's easy for easier for me to do my voice training and not manipulate it to what sounds good to my ears musically. Um, I need to work on doing voice training a lot more. I need to work on exercises for it. I'm hoping that constantly talking like this is going to help me uh, find the voice I want and need. I don't need it. Well, I do need it because I can get dysphoria pretty bad. And currently with the house I'm living in, it's a little hard to switch over from my higher voice and deeper voice between friends and family. I'm working on getting the higher voice up, but it's 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 hard. It's really hard. Oh, I'm going to... Uh, off topic again. I'm sorry. I'm everywhere. I'm just trying to think of topics. I'm just going everywhere. Um, on the twelfth, I'm going to go see Sis Fail live. Since Sis Fail is a band, is a post hardcore band that uh, my girlfriend showed me. It was very personal that she was that she felt comfortable enough to show me this band. Um, since Sis Fail is playing probably my favorite album from their discography, which is a uh, uh, Life Is Not a Waiting Room. I found a lot of enjoyment through that album while I was at work, and I had that on repeat for, I think, about two to three work nights, just listening to it. it was, it's such a good album. The first album I listened to from them was um, Still Searching, a deluxe edition specifically, so because that's, that's the one that she found personal. I have to say, I genuinely enjoy his voice even after surgery. I think the lead singer's voice is really fucking good. Um, their modern their modern stuff it's okay it's okay it's not the best it's not the worst it's okay i would, it is interesting to see them collaborate with more people and have a more modern twist on it lyricism is is interesting uh 
I like the world. Uh, I like it's the end of the world slash a chess game or the chess game. I can't remember fully. I just listed that album recently. I was really not knowing that it came out. And and I thought it was it was okay. It was okay. Yeah, that's it's fun. I'm excited to go see Census Fail though live. I'm going to that's gonna be my second concert live, my first rock concert. The first one I went to a hundred gex concert in DC. That was extremely fun. If you wanna find some stuff, there's a channel that post decent quality of the show it was 100 gex live at the anthem dc 100 gex was absolutely astounding to see in person i actually purchased one of their shirts 100 gex has been a as a duo that i've loved to listen to for a while now and they actually got to they actually played all the stuff i wanted to hear they have a smaller discography so i'm not surprised they did that but you know it i think it's really cool though um Laura Less was absolutely amazing. See, I enjoyed her personality on stage. Then uh uh Dylan Brady, Brady Dylan, Dylan Brady. Dylan Brady was also really on to see. I liked I liked it when uh Laura Less had to go use the restroom and Dylan Brady started playing a remix of a classical tune. <laughs> And then uh, Frog on the floor, floor started playing. People started throwing stuffed animals at Laura Less. Or started throwing animals on the stage towards Laura Less. And it was honestly really funny to see. There was apparently a llama, as she had said. Uh, and I tr it turns out that someone was actually uh, recording the 100 Gex show. Their 3DS, which I thought was so fucking funny. Just there. Ah, the 3DS gameplay. There's also someone in a fursuit head, which prop them for going into a really crowded room with a fursuit prop head. That is impressive. Um, then the last person I think I saw was, uh, it was someone just in a bikini wearing a rabbit, uh, hat. That was really cute. I really like the rabbit hat with little, uh, paws that make the ears go up and down. The other two bands that were was really good machine girl and um i think it was fever fever ray uh machine girl and fever ray were so good machine girl i liked stuff it just ended up hurting my ears initially because the bass frequency was weird and fever ray did not belong i don't think <laughs> they were very different in contrast compared to the rest of them i they're good they're good i'm not going to deny that it was just very odd it was an odd choice to have like the uh pop like a more electronic pop compared to machine girl which is drum and bass and rock and a hundred gex which is hyper pop and experimental music it was it was good it was a good concert though it's getting to be around the time and it's almost 30 minutes i'm surprised that i found something to talk about for 30 minutes Thank you all for listening so much, and I will hope to keep doing this, and I hope someone else on board with this as well. Have a good morning, and thank you for listening.